that everyone should do what he's best in. Everyone should just follow his dharma. <laughs> Point is clear. Uh, an obvious message is uh, uh, as uh, uh, you need to find your dharma. Then you will stand out amongst the many. Uh, dharma is really not a lifeless concept, but it breathes life in everything which you do once you are in a, a dharma. And therefore, Valmiki in the Ramayana opens his arms and says, from dharma comes prosperity. Only from dharma flows happiness. From dharma comes self-realization. By dharma everything is attained. Dharma is the essence of this world. So I would like to now uh, read a little, little something to you, which I call the fruits of dharma. It's uh, how you feel when you are in your dharma. And as I read this, uh, you can check how dharmically you are. I would like to make this a little bit like a meditative exercise. Not really, uh, we will do a lot of meditation, but here just may I request you to sit, to put your notepads or the electrical uh, telephones and so on the side, because I, I would like to now uh, take you a little bit to, uh, 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 into an exercise where you should yourself find out if you are in your Dharma right now, if you are maybe approaching your Dharma, mm, if you are just miles and light years away from your Dharma maybe. Uh, I have gone through our scriptures and find out, study the life of people who were in their dharma and the lives of people who were not in their dharma. And then I compared it with, uh, you know, how people feel at their workplaces and compared uh, quite an uh, interesting list from this. I will just read something to you and you just let the sentence work on you. When you are in your Dharma, you feel you lead a meaningful life which totally satisfies you. When you are not in your Dharma, you wonder if what you do has any meaning to you and whatever you do, you are never quite satisfied. When you are in your Dharma, you do not just do well in an activity, you just can't imagine to not do it. When you are not in your Dharma, you are not sure if you should be doing this at all, what you are doing. When you are in your Dharma, mostly it is that people, circumstances and arrangements come into your life effortlessly and help you. And whenever you're not in your Dharma, most of what you do is a struggle. When you are in your Dharma, your gifts and talents come to your aid. So that you have the strength to easily accomplish your work. And you are not in your Dharma, whatever it is that you are doing, you seem to only accomplish it with great effort. And it seems never good enough.
when you are in your dharma, you take wise risks because you trust fully in the maxim. One who acts in his dharma is protected by dharma. It can't go wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher. I'm, I will try this now. It can't go wrong. It's a risk, but it's, it's my dharma. When you are not in your dharma, you are always fearful of disaster <laughs> that will strike. You have always images of the worst case scenarios in your mind. There, there is a huge list. I won't do all the list. But I will go now to something very, very thought provoking. Last point. When you are your Dharma, you are generally in good health. And if illness does come, you, you somehow can deal with it. When you are not in your Dharma, you are constantly getting ill and you don't know what's wrong and how to get well. See, it's dangerous to be not in one's Dharma. Krishna had said that in the Gita. To follow another dharma, that means to not be in my own dharma, is dangerous. Dangerous to, ex to the extent that people first have an uneasy feeling in life. That's mostly the case. I've also spoken with many Pandavasenas, which, as you know, they all express, oh, Maharaj, oh, This is an uneasy feeling. That's the first warning which comes. If you ignore it, which most of you do, then you get an illness. If you ignore that, it still don't make changes in your life, you get a chronic disease. If you ignore that also, and don't change in your life, and go to the Dharma, uh, my dear people, you will have an accident. And if you ignore that, you will have a death. And if you ignore that, you have another birth. <laughs> and the whole uh, uh, blues continues. Anti Dharma. I have not found my Dharma. We should actually make a, a blues. I have not found my Dharma. So miserable. <laughs>